Hello everyone. In this video, we have one square and ratio of these two sides are two. Here is 45 degrees and here is 15 degrees. And BF E angle is S. First of all, if we connect F and C points like this, we know that this line must be linear because. AC is a diagonal of the square. So these two angles must be 45 degrees. Right? Okay, let's draw a perpendicular line across to 45 degrees. Let's remind you if we have an isosceles right triangle, if there's a one unit across to 45 degrees, hypotenuse must be root 2. So if there is a 1 unit across to 45 degrees, hypotenuse must be root 2. Therefore, this length must be 2 root 2. We know that these two sides must be equal, so here is 3 root 2. Let's draw one more perpendicular across to 45 degrees. If hypotenuse is 3 root 2, this angle must be 45 degrees. This length is 3 units. This length is 3, three units, so 2 units left here. Right? So this length is also three units. And if here is 15 and 45 degrees, this angle must be 30 degrees. So here must be 60 degrees. And let's remind you If there's a one unit across to 30 degrees, across to 60 degrees must be root 3. So, if this length is 3 units, so here must be root 3. If we focus on the triangle A, E, P, E, P, F, let's call here alpha. Tangent alpha equals 1 over root 3 plus 2. Do you remember which triangle property is this? Let's remind you if we have a right triangle and angle are 15 and 75, if there's a 1 unit across to 15 degrees, across to 75 degrees must be root 3 plus 2. Therefore, Tangent 15 equals 1 over root 3 plus 2. So alpha is going to be 15 degrees. Therefore, the missing angle equals 15 plus 60 degrees. So the missing angle is going to be 75 degrees. Okay. Now we have another question, but we use property of 15, 75, 90 triangle. Okay. These two sides are equal and this angle is asked. If it is 75 degrees, this angle must be 15 degrees. And let's remind you, if we have a right triangle and angles are 15 and 75 degrees if there's a one unit across to 15 degrees across to 75 degrees must be root 3 plus 2 but if you notice that this side is divided into two equal parts so i want to multiply with two these triangle sides because it will be 
easy to divide so if there's a two units across to 15 degrees across to 75 degrees must be two root three plus four and hypotenuse must be two root six plus two root two okay let's call across to 15 degrees two units across to 75 degrees must be two root three plus four and hypotenuse must be two root six plus two root two right and then here must be root root six plus root two so here must be seven to five degrees and let's draw one more perpendicular line across to seven to five degrees here must be 15 degrees and if you notice that let's call here p point a kb triangle and B, P, C triangle are congruent because they have same angles and same sides. Are congruent. Therefore, if there's a two units across to 15 degrees, this length must be two units and here must be two root three plus two units and we know that KB and PC are equal so here two root three plus four units and This hypotenuse is 2 root 6 plus 2 root 2, and here is 75 degrees. Let's draw a perpendicular line across to 75 degrees. If hypotenuse is root 6 plus root 2, across to 75 degrees must be root 3 plus 2 units. And here, Let's call this point L. LC must be equal one unit. Right? Therefore, here PL must be equal to root three plus three units. Let's draw a perpendicular line. If you notice that, we get a rectangle. Let's call here G point, G L and L L O. Let's call here H point, G L and H P must be equal. So if here is two root three plus three, this length must be two root three plus three units. So if here is root three plus two, root three units left here. If you focus on triangle KLG, let's draw here. K, L, G, and here is alpha, and this length is root 3, and here is 2 root 3 plus 3 units. Let's calculate tangent alpha. Tangent alpha equals 2 root 3 plus 3 over root 3. Therefore, tangent alpha equals root 3. 3 plus 2 units. Did you remember which triangle property is this? Let's remind you tangent 
75 degrees equals root 3 plus 2 units. So alpha equals 75 degrees. Thanks.